Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Learn German from Hindi and English and as you can see on the screen today's video, today's topics uh, uh, today's topic is der conjunctive soi der, der conjunctive soi die höfliche bitte means you have to frame polite requests with conjunctive soi and in English we call it as subjunctive to yeah? subjunctive, uh, subjunctive soi and uh, this video is for uh, the people, for the uh, viewers who are doing A2 level. It's not that uh, not anybody else uh, from other levels can see this, but it is generally uh, taught in uh, A2 level. So guys, uh, let's see what is it. So I have just written today we are going to learn how to form polite requests using the conjunctive zoi. So I would like to tell you conjunctive zoi can be used um, in, in grammar, in German grammar for several uh, other things and this is one of the things that the conjunctive zoi is used. So please, uh, it is also used to make wishes but this topic, this video is only um, based on polite requests, how to frame the questions. So, generally to frame the questions in conjunctive zoi we use two verbs, quenten and würden. Okay? And Quentin has come from Können. And Würden has come from Werden. So these two forms, Quentin and Würden, we will be using to frame conjunctive Zoi questions. Here is also the same details. They are not new verbs. The verbs are Können and Werden. Like I said, it's, uh, it is made uh, from... Uh, it has come from two verbs, können and werden. With, the diff with this form, we can express wishes and frame polite requests and questions. Like I said, you can also express your wishes, which are called as wünsches. Yeah, wünsche. oh, and uh, you can also frame polite requests and questions, which we are going to see in this particular video. With the requests, we can use could and would. So these two forms, could is könnten and would is würden. We are going to use this. They are mostly in the question forms and generally they are used to frame the questions. So first of all, we will see the conjugations. Könnten means could. So on the left hand side, you can see the preteritum form of könnten. Yeah, können basically. Ich konnte I could do contest. Er ZS konnte. Wir konnten. Ihr konntet. Sie plural konnten. And sie plural formal is konnten. I could, you could, he, she, it could, we could, you all could, they all could, and they all could. So basically, this is the preteritum. This is a past tense of können. And the present tense was ich kann, du kannst, er, sie, es kann. Remember? So here, please don't get confused. This is a past tense form of können. And for the conjunctive zoi on the right hand side, you can see that there is only change in this variable. I will mark it so you can easily understand. See here we have o, and in conjunctive zoi it has changed to o. Yes, here I've also written this in uh, this yellow strip. O has changed to U in conjunctive zoi. So it will become ich könnte, I could, du könntest, er sie es könnte, wir könnten, ihr könntet, sie könnten and sie plural. Uh, formal is the content. Okay guys, so this is how we are going to form the conjunctive zoi from können. Same way, we are going to make the conjunctive zoi from werden. So this is again on the left hand side, wurde. This one with a O. So this is a past tense form of werden. Ich wurde, du Wurdest, er, sie, es, wurde, wir, wurden, ihr, 
would it z wooden z for male plural wooden and then we have conjunctive y on the right hand side with the change only in this variable that is u so here we have u please wait I have lost my cursor so here we have u so can you change can you see this change u has transformed to u u has changed to u has changed to u in conjunctive zoi whenever you say would then you must understand that this is conjunctive zoi and not the past tense past tense is without umlaut this is normal u would and conjunctive zoi is would eu na would i will read down the conjugations ish would do wouldest as as would wir würden ihr würdet sie würden sie for male in plural würden so these were the conjugations let's see some examples to make it more clear Könnten Sie mir helfen? Könnten Sie mir helfen? Could you help me? So here we don't, we are not saying Können Sie mir helfen? We are saying Könnten Sie mir helfen? So this is the conjunctive and this is mostly uh, preferred uh, sentence because this is like very, uh, what you say, very very polite way of asking someone. Yeah? Could you help me? else we can say can you help me but this sounds better could you help me same way uh, in german we have conjunctive zoi so könnten sie mir helfen rather than saying können sie mir helfen or kannst du mir helfen yes this is the better way of saying someone or asking someone all right then we have another example könnte ich mal ihren computer benutzen könnte ich mal ihren computer benutzen könnte ich is could i mal is one time you know one time or two times so i mal drei mal so here is he is just asking to use the computer one time could i use your computer könnte ich mal ihren computer benutzen could i use your computer and number three is würden sie bitte die email be and warten Würden Sie bitte die E-Mail beantworten? Would you please answer the E-Mail? And question marks. So here is würden Sie. Yes, würden Sie bitte die E-Mail beantworten? Would you please answer the E-Mail? Some more examples. And now you have seen the specific use of Quentin and Würden, uh, Quentin and Würden, but here you can use both both the verbs Quentin and Würden to frame one particular sentence because could and uh, would generally uh, can be used uh, together you know they don't uh, differ that much you can use them with a sentence let's see the example and it will make you more clear Quentin do bitte das Fenster zu machen yes could you please close the window das Fenster Fenster is window zu machen is to close yes Contest do bitter thus fenced to machen. So the same sentence you can say with using würdes. Würdes du bitter das fenster zu machen? Würdes du bitter das fenster zu machen? Both are correct. There is no debate whether to use content or würden. They both will go in this sentence. So here contest and würdes are the conjunctive zoi forms. And they are forming the frage questions. Frage means questions, and they will have. They are having the position number one because they are questions. And at the end, sumachen. Sumachen. You can see this sumachen. This is the verb in infinitive. So at the end, am ende comes the infinitive. Sumachen. As you know, because we are using a model verb. Yes, können and werden both are model verbs, and therefore. 
we are using uh, infinitive at the end. Coming to next example, the work here is bring in. Bring in means to bring, yes, to bring something. Now we are uh, seeing the same examples using Quentin and Rodin. Quentin the bitter mere iron and coffee bring in. Quentin the bitter mere iron and coffee bring in. Could you please bring a coffee for me? Or you can say, Rodin the bitter mere iron and coffee bring in. Rodin the bitter mere iron and coffee bring in. A boat can be written. The same sentence can be written with content or written, you know. So, both are correct and both give the same meaning. Can you please bring a coffee for me or could you please bring a coffee for me? Same way, the conjunctive as well stands in the first position as a question and at the end comes bring in which is the infinitive. Now, we will see Various ways of forming a request. So here in this example, we will start with imperative and then we will keep on modifying the sentence and we will reach to the conjunctive zone. Like number one is imperative and the verb is zeigen. Zeigen means to show. Zeig mir das document. Zeig mir das Dokument. Show me the document. Now this is a direct and nicht freundlich sentence. Direct is because we are giving somebody some instruction or order. Zeig mir das Dokument. Show me the document. We are not saying please or we are not requesting him. But if we have to modify this, then in the second case you can see use of bitte. Now here we are using bitter zeigen mir das document. We are making it more polite and we are requesting, please show me the document. So here I have written at was freundlicher. This sentence is better than the first one. This is a little bit friendly, at was freundlicher. Then we have number three, kannst du, yes? Kannst du bitte mir das Dokument zeigen? Can you please show me the document? We are using can. Kannst du bitte mir das Dokument zeigen? Can you show me or can you please show me the document? And this sentence is noch freundlicher. Noch means that it is more friendly. Friendly than the second one. If you say somebody, can you... Can you uh, please show me the document? So this is more polite than the second one. And then we have number four, conjunctive zoi. So this is a case that we have to study and keep in mind that anytime you have to request somebody, you should use conjunctive zoi because this is considered as the most polite form of asking someone or requesting someone. So here we are having conjunctive joy and the sentence will be Würdes du bitte mir das Dokument zeigen? Würdes du bitte mir das Dokument zeigen? Would you please show me the document? And here I have written feel freundlicher. Feel means this is like more friendly form of saying feel freundlicher. Yes. And this is better. Third number was good. Fourth is better. And now we are having our best form. This is number fifth conjunctive zoi. This is also feel friendly because you this and contest do can use both of them in the same sentence and they make same sense. Contest do bitter me das document zeigen. Could you please show me the document? Contest do bitter me das document zeigen. Yes, could you please show me the document? So here's a smiley just to make sure that you remember every time you speak you have to use conjunctive zoi because it will give a very good impression uh, to the person you are talking to even if you are in uh, um, at your office place and you speak uh, with this kind of uh, sentence then anybody will impress from you.
and some more examples sagen sie as höflicher and you have to say it more politely again we are having some examples these are very um, uh, a very very important topic conjunctive so it's better that uh, you should do more and more of exercises to get fluent in this uh, topic and uh, that's why i have kept more and more exercise maybe in the next video also i will uh, i'm having some a uh, scenario so which we will uh, learn more about conjunctive so i so guys first uh, let's see, see these examples number 1 kann ich bitte frau schneier sprechen kann ich bitte frau schneier sprechen and question mark can i speak to miss schneier then conjunctive so i will be könnte ich bitte frau schneier sprechen könnte ich bitte frau schneier sprechen can i speak to miss schneier so can ish will become könnte ish yes you have to keep in mind that can ish is present yes and um, the preteritum form was konnte ish and conjunctive zoi is könnte ish mit uh, mit one uh, one of the umlauts right könnte ish and then second uh, example können sie mir bei diesem problem helfen können sie mir bei diesem problem helfen can you help me in this problem or can you help me uh, solving this problem yes können sie könnten sie mir bei diesem problem helfen so the conjunctive will be könnten sie mir bei diesem problem helfen could you help me in this problem number 3 ich will einen termin vereinbaren ich will einen termin vereinbaren I want to arrange a meeting. So in this case, we are having will. Yes, ich will and will. I have told you, will is always uh, used by uh, children because uh, they will say, ich will das haben. I want to have that. Yes, and that is a little uh, rigid because the children are generally they are they just want uh, the things at any cost. So will from. Uh, yeah. instead of will you can use must and yes i i want that sounds better and ich würde gern that sounds even better that is the best thing that you can go for ich würde gern einen termin vereinbaren means i would like to arrange a meeting ich würde gern yes and number 4 is kannst du mir mal dein auto leihen kannst du mir mal dein auto leihen Can you lend me your car one time? So you are uh, just telling your friend. Can you give me your car for one day? Yes. Lion. Lion means to lend someone. Yeah, something. A pencil, a car, or uh, your dress, or your bag. Anything you can lend. Yes, for one day. Yeah, mal means one time. Kannst du? So now kannst du will become uh, könntest du in conjunctive form. Kannst du is könntest du. Will this do me a malign auto lion? Could you lend me your car one time, or would you lend me your car one time? So, guys, this was the conjunctive, and uh, like I said, you can create, you can use conjunctive in other sense also. But this topic, this video is only for the hoflicher bit, the hoflicher bit, to create polite request to frame a polite uh, questions. So, um, stay updated for. Uh, Uh, new videos and if you like the video then please like it share it with your friends and do subscribe my channel and uh, i will meet you in my next video till then bye bye have fun on shoes